What's up my awesome YouTubers, Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys. And in front of me is the amazing Tamara Glenn from Halloween 5. Introduce yourself Tamara, or say hello. Hello everyone, yes I am Tamara Glenn and I'm the Samantha Thomas in Halloween 5. Okay, so thank you for doing this interview with me. I really appreciate it. Oh, thanks for asking. So, okay, we are going to get started with some questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, the first question is, what inspired you to become an actress, and what is the best thing about being part of the film and television business? Oh, the thing that inspired me most to become an actress was um, back in the day, um, you know, I did the pageant thing, the modeling thing, and an agent, a talent theatrical agent from Miami saw me and um, actually so-called discovered me. So I went to um, Los Angeles with an agent um, and my mother, of course. Yeah, at a very young age, and um, I basically started working immediately. I was very blessed. Um, I got into, you know, acting classes and um, improv and private study, and I worked hard. And um, that was early on, and then I guess the thing that inspires me most about being an actress, even now looking back, is um, it's just the whole fan base of it all. Mm -hmm. And everyone, everyone, you know, complimenting you on your work and, um, you know, when, when people remember you, especially now, as opposed to when I was 18 and doing such films as Halloween 5, it's just very rewarding um, and very heartfelt for people to remember your work and who you are. That's good. Um, how did you get involved with Halloween 5? Oh, I went into um, audition um, for Halloween 5. It was like on a Thursday. I was leaving to go to Miami on like a Friday. And um, I went in and I read for the casting director. They put me on tape and they sent the tape to Dominique. And um, I left for Miami the next day. And lo and behold, I was on the set of Miami Vice. And I got the phone call from my manager and she said, guess what? You've booked Halloween 5. So, yeah, it was, um, it was very exciting. I even, you know, had the opportunity to, to share the news with uh, Don Johnson and um, Philip Michael. So, yeah, it was, um, it was a quite exciting time. And that's awesome. And I'm sure you were a fan of the series before you got Halloween 5. So, that was probably oh. the greatest reaction right. for you. Right. I mean, I had been a fan of the original. Um, you know, the original was released in 78. In 78, I guess I'm going to tell my age here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I, I personally saw it in theaters when I was, um, when I was 10. Wow. Maybe I shouldn't tell that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was just a huge fan from the get-go. And when I got the call that I was actually, you know, going to be auditioning for a role in the film I mean my god that was just a dream come true well that is awesome and can you name yeah. can you give us one word to describe your character Sammy or Samantha analytical <laughs> okay <It's nuts. laughs> no. I get analytical <laughs> Okay, um, what was the filming process like when shooting Halloween 5? Oh, the filming process was amazing. The crew was amazing. Um, fellow, you know, actors and actresses were amazing. I mean, everyone from Dominique, Mr. Akkad, you know, everyone as a whole. You know, we, I, I think we all went into this and we approached it with um, true team effort and um, I think that's one of the reasons that it did translate so well on screen and continues to have the following today that it did, you know, huh. 24, 25 years ago. So. <laughs> All right. Um, the next question, 
Um, and this is, uh, I've actually thought about this one. Um, you worked with Wendy Kaplan, who played Tina. And I was just curious if you guys stayed in contact after the movie or, you know, what happened? You know, it's unfortunate um, that life's events just sometimes don't keep us as close to those that we would really like mm -hmm. to have the opportunity to stay in touch with. Um, right after, you know, age five, I moved back home to Arkansas to take care of my grandfather. Yeah who was terminally ill with cancer. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you lose track of people. Um, we all go our separate ways. And, um, you know, there were so many times throughout the years that I just, I would think about everyone so often and just wonder what they were up to and were they married, did they have kids? You know, yeah. just fun stuff like that. That's cool. And uh, working with Daniel Harris, was that awesome? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Danielle was such a little charm. Um, I mean, what a trooper. Um, you know, I think professionalism, um, you know, Danielle, it was just instinctively inbred in her um, from a young age. And she's just done, continued to do just incredible work mm -hmm. um, over the years. And um, I'm very proud of her. That's cool. Um, the next question is, how was it fight? How was it fighting against Don Shanks in the barn scene? And was he creepy wearing the mask at all to you? He was creepy, and um, the death scene wasn't. Um, it was written in the script, um, different than what we ended up doing. Uh -huh. um, Samantha was going to originally be somewhat of an easy kill. A typical kill um, for Myers and it came time to shoot the scene and I I, um, I went to Dominique and you know I asked him I said you know we see Samantha and I gave him these you know these bullet points these points that we see her in the film I said you know and she wasn't a weak character but I said you know can we give her um, some spot yeah. You know, let her, let her fight back. Sammy's got it in her, and I really believe that in the character. And so um, we went with that, and um, it was a beautiful outcome and translated just excellent, excellent on the big screen. And I love and that. Yes, and he, he did freak me out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very and, intimate. And the, tears, and the tears that you catch in the barn scene, those are actual um, real tears. So, yeah, I was, I was totally into that scene, trust me. Uh, well, I was gonna say, you know, he, he looks very intimidating when he's wearing that mask, and that whole scene is creepy. It is, but I tell you what, um, it was so beautifully shot. Um, you know, Dominique, Rob Draper, um, everyone just did such an amazing job lighting it, and... Um, with the effects that were going on. I mean, you know, Greg Nicotero and Mark Maitre were right there, you know, since Fitz had on the application that the pitchfork was going to come through. Mm -hmm. um, it was just an amazing, fun time. Well, that's fun. And I wanted to say real quickly, I love that you did fight back. So that was interesting <laughs> that you went to him and said, I think it would be great if she fought back. I'm a fighter. It was that natural kind of, I am girl hear me roar <laughs> even at 18 that um that came out and um i just felt that at that point you know sammy's circuits were on hold sometimes you know so on and so forth but i thought let's see let's let's see some oomph you well, know and um and it worked out great well that is awesome um the next question is did you ever expect halloween 5 to become the cult classic it is today no. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just amazing for that to have been that many years ago, mm -hmm. Justin, and um, the franchise, what I've personally experienced is just continually picking up speed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and it is so great. I don't know how many franchises there are out there that have the capabilities that the Halloween franchise, you know, has a, has as a whole. Yeah. And 
I think one of the things that has been so important and, um, you know, Halloween is a classy franchise and sometimes it's hard for me to even lump it in the horror genre, even though it is. Um, Halloween has been unlike anything um, I've personally seen Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm not trying to discredit um, any of those other franchises out there. But I really have a lot of respect for the way they've driven this beast. Yeah. And yeah. they and it's worked and people love it and they want more and more and more. And um, you know, the writers have been amazing, you know, the directors. Mm-hmm. Um you know, they've just been very savvy. Yeah. And, um, and being consistent. And I think the consistency has has paid off and paid off very well. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's nice. That is very nice, and I, I love, I love that new generations of fans can go back and look at these movies and then follow the series as it goes along. Right. So, right. okay. Um, the next question is, um, what what was your first fan encounter? You know, on the internet or you know in person? Oh, I guess my first fan encounter was. The day that Justin Beam, who is the voice of the franchise, um, first fan encounter, Justin and I bumped into each other on August 27th of 2012. Uh, We had been shooting emails back and forth the majority of the day. And um, finally, I got one from him and he says, would you mind if I turn your Facebook loose, you know, on the Halloween movies page? And I said, nah, go ahead. (laughs) I wasn't expecting, (laughs) I really wasn't expecting anything at all, and um, it was so amazing that within no time, and I kid you not, um, I had like over a thousand friend requests. Oh, wow. And the love started pouring, and it was just, it was absolutely, it was just surreal. I mean, I cried. I'm like, this is... These people are amazing. Well, that is awesome. Well, we're glad to it have was, you. It was a special time. So we're glad to have you, because, you know, I was always a big fan of your character in Halloween 5. And I always wanted to know oh, where... Okay. I always wanted to know where Sammy was, so... And I'm glad you're out there t- talking to the fans, Sam- going to conventions. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sammy's here. She, um, you know... I only came back to Arkansas to take care of family. The big plan was not for me to stay here forever. Um, And it was one of those things where there was just one series of unfortunate events, Mm -hmm. one right after the other. And I always put family first. Yeah. And and I lived up to that. Well, that's good. So now the timing is, is, um, it's right. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. the planets are lined up. The good Lord's looking over me, and um, I'm back. Yeah, well, I'm that not is going awesome. Anywhere. You're well, not going to get rid of me this time. <laughs> well, we would hate if you went away again. So we're glad you're here. No, I... <laughs> and the Halloween family. Well, like, anyway. <laughs> well, you said, and you've mentioned on Facebook, the the family, the Halloween family you have on facebook has just been awesome and you could just see the love that these halloween ha- halloween fans have so they're unlike the, there's just something very special and very unique about the halloween fans um i've never experienced fans like this and i tried to kind of sit back and and take a look and just kind of observe mm-hmm. other things out there that are, that are available to observe. Yeah. Uh, they are so special. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these are the most kind-hearted, the most sweet, loving, hard-working, dedicated, loyal fans that you could ever have. I am so blessed to have them. I love them. Mm-hmm. They know I love them. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, you know, I'm just super grateful. Yeah. Well, that is awesome. Um, the next question is, um, it's been 35 years since John Carpenter's Halloween has come out. 
And, you know, why do you think people love that film so much and love the series so much? Yeah, I think it goes back to, once again, I mean, they have continually um, had, it's from the writers, it's from the directors, it's it's the actors. Um, And I think, too, you know, horror sometimes you know it's the anticipation factor you don't have to see all the blood gore guts Mm -hmm. you know all the nastiness to read on film um i think it's the anticipation and there's enough of when michael strikes Mm -hmm. uh with his precision (laughs) so to speak there's enough there to just scare the daylights out of someone yeah and that is more effective, my me, my own personal opinion, than, I mean, I'd rather get the lead in to what's about to happen. I'd rather sit there and think, oh my gosh, it's coming, it's coming, when's it going to happen, as opposed to quick kill, blood everywhere, on to the next, you know, yeah. slot, you know, whatever. But they have just done, you know, like I said, from the lighting, to the directing, to the casting, um, they just consistently performed. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, the next question is, you attended your first convention, which was Horror Hound Weekend in March. And what was that experience like, that and how were the fans? <laughs> that was a big experience. You know, I've lived in, a, I'm, a, I'm from a small town in Arkansas, I've lived in L.A., but you take me to Cincinnati, Ohio, to Horror Hound, and it was a whole other. <laughs> it was a whole other world, and the cool thing about it, there were, I mean, there were just such a, di- a diverse group of mm-hmm. people there. Um, and I'm just thinking, okay, what's going to happen? Number one, is anyone going to come to my table and see me? Yeah, <laughs> which would have been totally embarrassing had no one showed up. Um, but it was it was so refreshing to get that many people um, who love this genre so much under one roof, mm-hmm. and I have never in my life been treated so well. Yeah. Um. This. I mean, the respect was there, the love, the kindness, the appreciation. Um. It was just. I'm still speechless over Horror Hound. Well, I could say, because I met you at Horror Hound for the first time, you were probably the best experience that weekend. You were so kind, so sweet, and the Aww. fans just love you. Aww. So, that um, makes me feel good. <laughs> that is, well, you know what? You're an amazing person. Um, the next question is, with conventions, are you doing any future convention uh, appearances? Um, right now... There are um, some more conventions in in the early stages. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, I am so spending all of my time on uh, the Hot Springs Horror Film Festival that I am getting ready to host and co-direct along with my business partner, Bill Ballin. Mm-hmm. Um, that's coming to Hot Springs, Arkansas this September 26th through the 29th. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it is an international film festival. Yeah. And right now I am literally working around the clock yeah. on, on that project. Um, there are films on the table, and basically what I've had to do is push films to 2014. Wow. Um, after this festival, um, I have one appearance in L.A. I'll go out and make, and then I will come back, and then I will go back to L.A. for um, our big 35 years of terror, which I can't wait. <laughs> that is amazing news, because I went to the 30 Years of Terror, and that was so much fun, and the fans are amazing. They are. You could just... I mean, you've seen the loyalty already, but when you go right, there right. and you see those Halloween fans, many, many more, they're just right. loyal. Well, they are, and it's going to be nice to get out, and I'm hoping, um, I may take my son. Yeah. Um, 
with me to this. He's he's 17, mm-hmm. and um, I have told him that he needs to go and experience. Yeah, and um, and really get that the full it's effect as to what you know all this is about because the people are amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. And has he? Speaking of which, has he seen Halloween Five? Your son has my son. Yeah. Has he seen Halloween yeah, Five? Yeah. He's he. <laughs> um, number one, um, you know, coming from the Bible Belt, mm-hmm. it's not real common for you know, teenage boys to walk around and say, hey, my mom was in a horror movie. Yeah. Uh, that's just kind of, uh, that just doesn't happen here. Yeah. Uh, you know, when he was old enough, um, and he knows, I mean, I've been in film and TV and video production um, my whole life, and mm-hmm. he's very, he knows the business, yeah. you know. Um, and then finally one day I'm like, hey, you want to see something? And I geared it up to a scene. Of course, it wasn't the barn scene. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I geared it up and I'm like, this is what, you know, your mom did in California. And, um, you know, he, um, he thinks it's cool. That's awesome. Well, that he is awesome. He thinks it's cool. He likes me being mom, mm-hmm. just mom, and he doesn't. Um, understand the fan thing. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm just mom. Mom, exactly. Why do these people watch your movie? Because I've seen it, mom, and it's just this little transition period that he's going through, that, that he and I both are going through together right now with all the rebooting of my career and the excitement. Yeah. Uh, he's having a blast. Well, that is awesome. That is just great. So, and then my favorite question is, of course, talking about the Hot Springs Horror Film Festival that you're going to be holding, or, um, how, what's the word, uh, uh hosting, basically. Yes. Um, and, and what's the dates again? The dates for the Hot Springs Horror Film Festival, right here in beautiful downtown Hot Springs, Arkansas, um, are September the 26th through the 29th, of course, 2013. Mm-hmm. Um, this is an international festival, like I said. It is a without-a-box festival, um, and filmmakers have to submit through without-a-box. Yeah. Um, it's going to be an amazing time. My business partner and I have a theater. Mm-hmm. Um, it's actually an historic theater. It was built in 1910. Mm-hmm. And um, we figured with my love for horror, for his love for horror, um, we have a theater, um, you know, let's, let's have a festival. That is awesome. That it's is awesome. So, and we're bringing in some super, super big guests, um, of course, Justin Beam, mm-hmm. um, the voice of the Halloween franchise will attend. Stephen C. Miller, uh, he just released um, Silent Night. Um, Silent Night. Right. It was last, no, I think it was released theatrically um, last November. We have Jeff Burr coming in. Jeff is an amazing director that has directed so many things. Texas Chainsaw um, Massacre 3. Stepfather 2. He did a, Jeff Burr did a little film last year called Leatherface. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, he's a, um, yeah, that was just a little film. <laughs> um, and I'm totally joking about that. Um, <laughs> Eric England, who was originally from my home state of Arkansas, Eric's coming in, and um, actually he's going to be bringing one of his films with him, Mm -hmm. and um, we have amazing panels from film and um, film distribution and financing, we're going to have ongoing special effects workshops, Um, this is really going to give the filmmakers just this beautiful opportunity to get up close with some of the finest in the industry. Well, that is awesome. I think it's going to be such an amazing experience for people. I do too. I'm just, I'm so excited. I mean, I wish it, I mean, there's still so much work to be done. Yeah. Um, you know, but I, I'm really, I am so excited about it. There's going to be many, many VIP events. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and it's really nice, you know, getting the state of Arkansas behind us on this. It is yes. nice to come in and be able to introduce horror, you know, up close and personal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and to explain to people uh, how the effects are done. Yeah. Uh, it, it's going to be a big learning experience for um, for a lot of people, but I'm super excited for the filmmakers. Yeah. And, you know, Bill Ball and my business partner and I, we said, you know, if one filmmaker can walk away from this festival and if they can take a piece of knowledge and implement that into their next film, bingo. Well, that is awesome. That's success. That is success. So, yeah. So, that is awesome. Yeah. I wanted to say thank you so much for doing this interview. I really, really appreciate it a lot. Thank you, and um, you know, also you guys out there, keep an eye on everything that's going on with um, you know this being the um, 35th year, um, you know, anniversary for the Halloween franchise. You can check out Halloween Network on YouTube. Um, Justin Beam does have a book that he's aiming to release um, October 2014. Um, you can find Justin online. Um, lots of projects are going on, lots of announcements. Um, we're all just in a really good time right now. It's a wonderful ride. Oh, it is. It's definitely, it's an awesome ride, too. So. It is. It is. I so. pinch myself daily. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Tamara, for doing this interview. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, and one more thing I want to get in is um, please, please, please visit our website mm -hmm. and of the course. Horror Festival. And that site is hotspringshorrorfilmfestival.com. Oh, and that was another so, question. Well, I totally forgot. Are there any sites yeah. where people can visit go you? To site, go to hotspringshorrorfilmfestival.com. Check it out. Um, you know, we're making updates as, as necessary on the site. Mm -hmm. um, if you have questions, there are, um, you know, several uh, people that you can email directly and they will get back to you. Um, so, yeah, check it out. Well, that is awesome. And is there any sites where people can keep up with you and, and talk with you? You can keep up with me um, via Facebook. That's probably the best way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I do. I do have a fan page. I do have my personal page. You can follow me on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm kind of broadening my um, my social media skills here, so to speak. I'm I'm getting out there more and more. So well, absolutely. That, well, that is awesome. I'll leave all the links down below, and people can go check out the Hot Springs Film Festival site you know, your Facebook fan page, everything. So, but thank you so much that for this. Well, you know what? That'll be awesome. So, and uh, thank you again for doing this, Tamara. Oh, Justin, thank you. And just, um, also I have to say, I promised my assistant that I would mention her in one interview. So, um, hi, Steph, love you. You're the greatest assistant in the world. Mwah. And um, to the fans, thank you so so much for all your love and support okay. it goes a long way well guys i'm going to go this is the amazing tamra glenn from halloween five and uh i will talk to you guys later so hope you guys are all having a good day or night and as always you guys are awesome you guys rock okay bye guys <laughs>